All right, folks, uh, this morning we're going to talk about uh, this device coming up on the screen. Yeah, that's the Google Pixel 4 and 4XL, whatever. doesn't matter there. One's a little bigger than the other, and that's the basic difference. You know, they don't suddenly add a camera because you bought the 4XL. Uh, you get the Google camera. And uh, we're going to talk about all these high-end tech reviewers who mostly concentrate on smartphones and shooting videos and all that. And, well, we'll get to that right after the intro. Be right back. So, see you in a second. All right, folks. So I, I know I promised never to wear these while shooting videos, but I really do like the mic. I am not talking loud at all. It's 2 in the morning. I took a nap after I ate. So I basically had half a night's sleep already. Figured I'd better get this done and put it out there. So today we're going to talk about the uh, Pixel 4 and the absolutely atrocious behavior of a lot of reviewers out there when it was first released about six days ago. Jumping to conclusions that are unrealistic. Yeah, for them, as a tech reviewer, sure, you want the best cameras and you got to go over everything. Let's get to the reality of the situation, hence the clown boy uh, headset here because I kind of consider this a rather clownish looking headset uh, oh it doesn't have this and it doesn't have that and okay so I'm going to offer up a challenge to you guys you high end tech reviewers who you know insist and I'm sure there'll be some negative, maybe if somebody watches this, some negative feedback on it. Let us take a survey. This is my challenge. I, I don't live in a big enough town to take a survey to get a wide enough scope of people. Somebody lives in New York, Washington, uh, Portland. Uh, L.A., whatever. I want you to go out on the street and I want you to sit down, set up a table and ask people and very specific questions. I don't want any of this misleading crap because that's what you're going to try to do. And if you can't do this right, don't even attempt it. Don't be a bigger clown than you've already proven to be. Sit down and ask people, do you have a smartphone? You know, that'll be the first question. If they say yes, so ask them. If you can ask them three or four questions about their smartphone. These are going to be non-misleading questions. The next question is, do you watch the YouTube tech channel reviews before you buy a smartphone. If they say yes, ignore those guys. These are educated consumers who want the latest and greatest tech. They're not your average Joe. If they say no, then you can move on. Otherwise, you thank them for the time and just move on. Maybe you'll have to entice them somehow, give them a free ice cream cone. Or, yeah, you guys have the money to do this. I don't. So what you need to do, next question. So uh, when you shoot pictures, how do you normally hold your phone? Yeah, and if they come back and, you know, you know show me. 
and hold it this way. Go, I just do this and hit click. Okay. So, they don't even shoot in landscape. Yeah, it's a, a wide angle. Yeah, it'll do some good, but... Yeah, you get a whole lot wider angle shooting this way, don't you? Well, yeah, of course you do. And then ask them, uh, uh, do you usually shoot in regular or telephoto or bokeh or portrait, or do you not know what those mean? And if, if they don't know what it means, check the box and go, yeah, they don't know what that means. And ask them, how do you shoot your videos? Like if your kids or your cat's doing something, well, you, know, you hold it this way. You don't, don't guide them. Ask them how they hold it or see if they hold it that way. Ah, <sighs> yeah. And then ask them, well, what, what resolution do you normally shoot in? And if they look at you with a blank stare, <laughs> average consumer, they don't have a clue about resolution, pixels per inch, or frames per second. So, that brings us to the main point here. Well, you guys are busy bashing the damn iPhone. The average consumer doesn't have a clue. Now you have to eliminate all the people who watch the tech reviews. Those twits, you know, dutifully follow. Ask people who watch my site, maybe. Uh, I try to, you know, point people towards a product. Like the Mi A2 we're shooting on dirt cheap. Takes pretty decent video. Works well. Dirt cheap tripod if you need such a thing. Uh, all these things will be linked in the description below. Make sure you read that. But don't listen to these guys. One of these clowns has to have the balls to do this survey. You know, I, there have been a couple of reviewers. Surprisingly, uh, ASBYT has given it on the Pixel 4, a relatively good review. And ask, oh, one other question. Ask them how they feel about bezels. Or even better, ask them, do you know what a bezel is? Most of them won't have a freaking clue. They don't care if it's bezel-less or not. <sighs> which means they won't care about the fact that Google has moved the bezel up top and it doesn't extend down into the screen, which is still fully immersive, not really immersive because we don't have a big black section missing out of it. Uh, or a hole, or a teardrop notch. The hole and the teardrop notch also don't have Secure face unlock. Hmm. Yet the Google does. Because it's got the 3D face scanner. It's super fast. So, take all that negativity with a grain of salt until one of these asshat clowns, who should be wearing a headset like this, do a proper, unbiased review. Don't be like the Democrats. Don't be a jackass. Be a good person and do the right thing. And give us a review of what the average day consumer needs or wants or how they use their phone. And you'll probably be shocked that they, they don't have a clue with 4K videos. <laughs> of course they don't. They don't give a shit. They use whatever stock settings the phone comes with. 
That's all I have for tonight, or actually this morning. So, leave your comments and feedback below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you didn't, that's okay. Give us a thumbs down. <coughs> if you watch this far, thank you. And we'll catch you again tomorrow with some other drivel of some sort. <laughs> Using the Empower Remote, shutting her down. Catch you later.